Hi, my name is Josh Evelsizer, and today I'm going to share with you my top 10 uh, plus Chrome extensions. So hopefully one of these is mm, inspirational for you, and you can just grab it and start using it and get comfortable using Chrome extensions, or use all of them. That's up to you, but uh, we're going to just dive right in here. So first off, uh, my current list of go-to Chrome extensions, the first one on this list, and this list is in a somewhat OML fashion, order of merit list, or uh, favorite first, and then maybe least used last, but again, they're all awesome. Um, so the last one on here is still great. <laughs> uh, GQs, that is my task manager, part of my task management system. Uh, GQs right here. That is... Uh, something that I use absolutely every single day and the extension is just part of the ecosystem. There's an app on my phone. Uh, I use it with calendar. It's an integration there, uh, but the extension allows certain things to happen and interactions with the app. So I had to plug that one first. Josh, what is a task management system? Great question. It is part of the three horsemen. Uh, what are the three horsemen right here? The task management or task management system, time management system, and knowledge management system. Without these three items, you'll never empty your inbox. Um, with them, it becomes as easy. I'm just going to go ahead and make myself a little smaller here. As this right here. If you're interested, let me know. I'll make another video and explain that stuff. Uh, but GQs, that's my number one uh, Chrome extension. It's my go-to task manager. <laughs> I go to task manager, as I explained, uh, part of my task management system. LastPass, stop using the same password. People are getting smarter. You got to protect yourself and you can share passwords with loved ones. It is so easy. I was scared at first. I would never go back. I cannot explain how awesome it is to open your phone and the thing just populates the password for you or on your computer. Uh, this is of course the extension we're talking about. Three bucks a month and there's a free version but it's totally worth it. Um, the, the free version, the only reason I pay for it is because I'm sharing with the wife and the family plan or something else, I can't remember. But anyways, LastPass, stop using the same password. Don't get your Dogecoin stolen like a buddy of mine did who was using his password over and over again in the same place. No, no, no bueno. Next one, Instapaper. So this and Pocket are my offline readers. Offline reader is just something that allows you to save stuff to read later. And the extension grabs the URL from whatever you're reading. And I've meant to be, I, I meant to, I meant to be, I meant to be clicking through here. My goal is to click through here, show you a picture of each of these. There's LastPass. Uh, Instapaper grabs that URL, puts it in your offline reader, which is an app on your phone. Uh, so when you're on an airplane or you're at home with Wi-Fi, whatever, you open it up and all that stuff you've saved is in that app. Uh, this extension allows you to do that. Uh, so it's also part of your personal knowledge management system. That was the second horseman of the three horsemen. And so here we go, read it later app for offline reading. I've explained that already. Uh, the second piece is that it's a key part of your personal knowledge management system. Again, got to have those three horsemen or your inbox is never going to be empty because you won't have anywhere to put the stuff. Uh, it becomes part of your trusted system as a bottom line. It also has a slick Evernote integration. Hit the, the like button and it goes right to Evernote. I'm going too far into this extension, but I just wanted to plug the invaluableness <laughs> of uh, Instapaper and Pocket, uh, which is the same thing. Pocket's cool though because it has a podcast function. Um, so there you go. We're talking about, let's see, let's get caught up here. Control W will crush my browsers and we'll get right up to Pocket, which is what we're talking about. All right, the next one here is Loom, which is how I'm talking to you right now, recording this screencast. So when you need to say 10,000 words, all right, a picture's worth a thousand, a video's worth 10 grand or maybe a million. Uh, especially helpful if you're trying to get uh, uh, an answer from tech support. Man, there's no better way to explain what you're doing than shooting a video, but there's a million other applications. Of course, this one right here. Um, when you need to send 10,000 words. And uh, so that's Loom right there. And the next one is going to be LightShot. Uh, when you just need to send 1,000 words, uh, this is a screenshot tool. Should shouldn't need to say much more else more else about that. <laughs> shouldn't need to say much else about that. It shoots screenshots and it does it real well. It does it quickly. Let you mark them up, so on and so forth. Check it out. If you do nothing else, do LightShot. Everyone needs to send screenshots. 
Uh, easy window resize. This is for the OCD person in you where you just want your browser to be an exact size and you don't want to spend the morning trying to do that. You give it a keyword or a uh, shortcut, which is Control Shift S for me, and it'll resize your browser for you all day long to the exact size that you need it. All right, we hit light shot. We hit easy window resize. Next time, next one is call timer for me. End your meetings on time. It turns red. It's up in the right hand, left hand corner of your screen when you're on a Meet video chat, Google Meet, and it lets you know you're over time. Do I need to say more? <laughs> uh, slight. Okay, so let's see. Let's get caught up again here. Draft by slight. So this is what slight looks like. I've showed you before. Um, man, just when you just got to start capturing notes right away, this is your go-to extension. And what did I say about it here? Capture information instantly. This is exactly what it does. All right. We hit slight. And what's the next one? Grammarly. Oh, man. Uh, this is great. Of course, it captures all your uh, spelling errors and grammar errors. Uh, but for those of you like me who need a little help uh, with your tone in your email, uh, this will give you tone feedback when you're composing emails. A little smiley face uh, if you're if you're composing a friendly email. Um, it'll give you like a bow tie if it's if it's like if you're writing formally. Um, a lot of cool stuff there. It's free. You can get the paid version through your school, which I just got. I'm excited about that. But Grammarly, check that one out. Uh, and if you write, uh, anyways, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. Uh, Evernote. All right. Also part of your knowledge management system. This is the this is it right here. Um, of course, there's a war on a war, a war about note taking systems right now. I'm not going to get into that. But if you use Evernote, got to have the extension. Also a key part of your personal knowledge management system for uh, for saving stuff for later. Uh, video speed controller. So if you're ever caught on a website that doesn't give you controls for the videos, this thing does. I don't know how. Uh, but now you can turn up to 2x or beyond what you're watching to uh, to speed through that and um, move through the space kind space, space time continuum, if you will. Uh, video speed controller. That's that guy right there. All right, Tango. Man, this thing is awesome. I don't use it a lot, uh, but when I do, I love it. Um, <laughs> How to doc how to documentation created magically? You just do the steps and it records it, um, and then I'm sure it's got AI going on in the background, figuring out what you're doing. It gives you the opportunity to write stuff, um, but it also maybe does some of that for you. Again, I forget; it's been a while since I've used it, but it's it's magical. Uh, so if you do a lot of how to documentation, this should be your go to extension. Uh, Bionic reading. Okay, so these next ones are new, hence the sparkles, and I don't have a lot for you on, on the way of feedback or exhortation or recommendation or the word where I, where I, <laughs> where I'm, where I am saying, yes, I recommend this thing. In any event, uh, they're all under use right now and, and, um, and evaluation. Under evaluation, we'll leave it at that. Bionic reading, hack your reading. Uh, so again, you saw this screenshot. It puts bolded first sections of the words, um, which does amazingly allow you to read a lot quicker. Um, so I'm, I'm checking this out. It seems pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Control W. Word tune. Okay, so in, in, in you're like, hey, Josh, I see that you need to add that to Chrome. So we are in my, uh, my Josh at Josh Evilsizer account, Chrome account right now. Uh, I have a school account in a different Chrome profile where I, ha where I have added this and I am using it. Um, so I'm not lying to you. It's it's in use in a different browser or under a different Chrome profile. In any event, WordTune, AI-powered writing companion. Uh, so this apparently, uh, again, I just added it, uh, Wordsmiths for you. And from the video, it looks pretty handy. So uh, you write something, and then you're like, I don't like the way that sounds. Highlight it, and it gives you a better, um, a couple examples or alternative options. Something to think about if you're a writer or you're in school. Uh, summary. So this guy or gal summarizes things for you. Uh, again, just added it. Uh, just started using it. No, um, no endorsements yet. Zotero. Again, this was recommended for me for school. It's 
I believe this is a sources sided management system, I think, uh, but I have not started using it yet as school is just starting for me. Uh, my archival list of Chrome extensions, things that I've used in the past, and that is rescue time, track your time, because what gets measured improves, perhaps, according to Drucker. Um, this is what it looks like. You connect all your systems. It magically determines uh, what's work and what's not, and you can dive into it. It's pretty clear it's not. Um, anyways, tracks your time for you, uh, lets you know how much time you spend on social media, uh, and other things that are not helpful to getting stuff done. Uh, but learn where your time goes, and you can learn how to improve your productivity uh, or stop wasting time. I'd like to let you know that every single thing I talked about here is, of course, going to be in the show notes at the bottom. I watch too many podcasts. Comments down below, whatever. Uh, all the things I talked about, along with a link to those Chrome extensions, so you don't have to go looking for them, but they're right there for you. As always, if any of this was helpful, um, first, I would ask you to let me know if any of the things that I talk about piqued your interest and you'd like to learn more. I'm going to shoot some videos on some of these key apps, uh, my task management system, uh, offline readers, things like that. But if there's anything you'd like to hear more about first, let me know. And if this is helpful, please like it, subscribe, and share with somebody else that this uh, could help or you think might enjoy the video. And uh, of course, leave questions. I will answer them. Please don't forget in the description down below the outline from this video and my contact information. Have a great day. Goodbye.